This is Fred Shell applying an epoxy coating to a Swifty 12 sailboat under construction. All right, we'll take a quick look here at uh, doing an epoxy coating. It's going to be troublesome sometimes. What I've done here, I've mixed up a cupful. Uh, and I poured it, pretty much got it out of the can again fast, so it's not going to set up. And I poured it down in here, and then spread it around uh, with a, I like this really wide spreader, and try and get it very roughly even. Not at all trying to get it right. And with a spreader, you can uh, spread it all the way up to the top of the deck, but then take the, put the spreader right up into the corner and pull it back down again. Uh, you don't have to press real hard, but uh, what you want to do is, if you push when you push it up to get it up to the top of the deck, it's gonna if you don't pull it back down, it's gonna run because you have too much up there. And we're gonna go over with a roller, but the roller won't get right up into the corner. Basically, it's, it's like spreading it out with the spreader as much as you can with the uh, keeping in mind that the roller is round and it won't get up into corners very well. So make sure you use the spreader to its advantage uh, to get those, those difficult corners caught. First, the roller is going to be kind of dry, so uh, want to get get into a kind of a juicy spot, get it thick, because you don't want it to pull too much off with some places. So you can get up into some corners pretty well with it, uh, but not like up in here. So you just go. As, as high as you can. This is picking it up from the high spots and evening it out. coating. Sometimes it's hard to see exactly how much you've got on. Uh, on horizontal surfaces it doesn't matter that much, but on vertical surfaces you really want to make sure you don't get it too thick. So, I'm sorry, there's something particularly nasty about trying to clean up a drip without tearing up the wood and tearing up the whole thing. But anyhow, so that's uh, that part of it. And then uh, we'll use a, uh, a foam pad. Where did I put my foam pad? Here it is. Again, I like my scrap foams. Um, a nice wide one like this. You can tip, basically. That's a painting term, tipping, where you go brush paint on first and then go over it with a, another brush that's dry, uh, just real quick, to get a smooth surface. The roller tends to leave a kind of a bumpy, bubbly texture. And I can reach right up into the corner with this thing. And then uh, there are some odd corners 
where you can use a disposable brush, uh, but uh, you can get into them with a with the foam pad too. And what I'm thinking of is right now is this up in here. I'm going to take a little extra epoxy on here and squish this in up there. Make sure that this is coated right up in the corner. And then do sort of the same thing, pull down with it so that it's not going to run. You don't want to leave any extra up there that could run. Uh, well, I guess that's the technique. It leaves quite a nice hard surface. Uh, a little hairy with one coat. Go over with the uh, uh, scraper after that one coat and uh, the second coat comes out really hard and shiny.